I'm Tori the Crafty Girl here and today is an exciting day. I finally broke down and bought the Addy Express king size. Yes, friends, uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I, if you don't know, I have many other knitting machines, um, primarily the Centro. You know, I haven't been doing this that long. I've been doing it since last year and uh, I'm slowly learning which of these products are going to be the best for my needs. Um, so if you're just starting out the Centro products, uh, you know, they're cheap. Um, they do tend to break down pretty quickly. And so uh, if you're just looking for something maybe for the kiddos or to learn on, um, it could be a good thing to pick up. But I will say I picked up the Addy 22, the little small one. And while I have had some issues because of a defect, other than that, I, I am obsessed. So I finally, finally have been monitoring Amazon and uh, we got to a price that made way more sense for my budget. And so here we are. So I decided I would just do an unboxing for everybody. Um, and a couple of things that I want to do during this unboxing, since if you're already here, um, you may be familiar with my content, but I, uh, you know, share patterns and tutorials on different things that you can do with the knitting machine. So this isn't going to be a how to use it tutorial. Um, this is going to be more of a let's test it out and see what she's capable of. Um, and what I mean by that is cotton. Okay. So this is one of the yarns that I wish I could use in my Centro and I can't, it just doesn't work. It it drops, it's, it damages, it, it just, it's just bad. So anyway, so I'm going to try some cotton and I'm also going to try some thicker yarn. So, um, we'll do a couple of things, but first let's go ahead and take her out of the package. I have not even, oh, here, here is what the beauty looks like. Okay. So first of all, this is cute. It's an Addy stopper to Addy Express stoppers. What is a stopper? I have never seen a stopper. This is a great question. If you have one of these, let me know. Um, it kind of looks like an extender to maybe make this a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, they're tiny. Where would they even go, here? Okay, I'm gonna have to look these up. So anyway, so you get this little, extra little thing called the Addy Extender. Okay, we'll put that to the side. Um, of course, we are gonna have our clamps which make me so happy that way it doesn't have to go anywhere we have our little feet all of this is standard okay and I just want to inspect really fast because I know that mm, <laughs> there have been uh, people complaining that they're getting things from Amazon that have been used and returned damaged so I'm kind of looking to see if this was already open um it doesn't look like it. I don't see a lot of fingerprints. I don't see the little label peeled off. So I think it's a little dirty, but you know, that's what happens. Extra pins, a little darning needle. Um, that's standard. All right, let's. Oh, the joy. Okay, let's, I don't wanna, I don't wanna break her. Pull straight out. Now, if you are wondering about circular knitting machines, the price points can vary, as I mentioned. The Plastic Centro is one brand. You can buy others that are considered like toys style. Um, and they, I mean, you can get them on sale anywhere from like $25 to $75, depending on your sizing. Um, but these definitely are more, uh, they're heavier, they last longer. You can open them up easily and replace parts when necessary. So, um, for longevity. I wish I would have invested this at the beginning, but I didn't know that I was going to get as obsessed as I did. Uh, so you have your little directions, information here. Don't really need that. Okay. So first thing is first, we are just going to put on our little legs here. I'm going to leave that on right now so I don't hurt it. And these are just a uh, twist on legs. Um, what I do love about these legs, same with the little small version, is that they have stoppers. So when I put it on my desk, it doesn't move around. If I, you know, want to um, switch it out, because I do that, I use different sizes for different projects. So the stoppers make it really convenient. Okay. 
Haha. <laughs> yes. Oh, so sturdy. There we go. So here is our beautiful new. Ah, it just makes me so excited. Um, so we're just going to dive right in. I'm not even going to use waste jarring with this because I'm so excited to try using cotton. And uh, we're just going to we're just going to dive right in. Now, the first thing that I typically do when I get a new knitting machine is find the first pin and then I usually col uh, color it with black. Um, it just so that I can identify it. But since I don't know if this one is going to work the way I want it to, I'm not going to uh, alter <laughs> alter this yet unless just in case there's, um, you know, in case I have to return it or something like that. So instead, we'll just grab our little cotton. And I am using, by the way, this is sugar and cream. Um, uh, this is the super size. You can get this at Joanne. Um, I usually crochet with it, but we're just going to cast on. Okay. And then we'll come back here. Now, the one thing I am going to add, I get this, I have this stuff. Um, it's like a liner for the, um, for your cabinets. You can get it at Dollar Tree. I have a black, uh, roll of this that I need to swap out, but it works pretty well just to even it out on my desk. There we go. That's, that feels a little bit better. All right. So let's, uh, reset. Oh, this one has a counter. Oh my gosh. So happy. All right. So let's, let's see how cotton does. Okay. Now I know some people purchase tensioners for this. It's not a standard feature of the Addy models. Um, and if you don't know a tensioner, let me show you what a tensioner is. I'll show you with this little gal here. A tensioner is this piece right here, and it tends to help with tension, um, specifically with these little cheap machines, because it has such an issue with different yarn types and tension causing problems. Um, so with this, it doesn't have one, and we'll see if I even need to get one. I don't think so, um, because I typically hold my projects in my left hand anyway. I hold my yarn, so I think that this will be okay. Oh my goodness, everybody. This is insane how smooth this is. No issues. No drop stitches. Now I wish I would have caked this so that I could make it a little easier. I didn't know cotton was going to work, folks. I did not know. I didn't know how happy I was going to be. Okay, now it's slowing down just a little bit, coming up a little. Um, again, I know cotton is harder to work with on knitting machines anyway. Well, let's just keep going and see. Ooh, okay, so there's there's our first thing that happened. Um, I knew that I was gonna have to monitor this cotton anyway because it's not as stretchy as like an acrylic. So we will just fix this really fast because all it did was just go on the side. It didn't didn't drop. Let's see. And I might have to wait until it comes back around to get it around that pin. Yeah, yeah. So we will just see where, which one is it? This one right here. Okay, I'm just going to mark that so I can come back around to it. Oh, and I'm standing on the yarn. That doesn't help. Oh, okay. So another one right here. So this is, uh, that one's going to be a drawer. No, that's a tuck stitch. So we can fix that. Uh, so you will have to do some monitoring with cotton, which still on the other machines, what happens is I can't even use it. It just constantly has issues. So if I can at least use it, we'll go with this one. All right. So this one didn't really go too far. So all I have to do is fix this one little right there over 
and pull it through. Oh yeah, it's so stiff. Such a difference. Let's so let's go forward a little. And cool. Alright, so where is the other one so we can fix that? Dun 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 dun. Here it is. Okay, so I will just mark that one. So if you monitor and you push it down when you're looking at it, come here, I'm coming back around. Um, I think that you can fix any of those issues before they happen. All right, so let's fix this one. Now, if you're wondering why I'm so excited about working with cotton, um, number one, I love uh, making clothing with my machine and cotton is really great as we start coming into spring and into summer. Um, cotton clothing definitely is gonna breathe a lot better and the longevity is great because cotton washes really well. Um, so I love cotton for clothing. Also, when it comes to if you make anything for markets like um, face uh, white pads, which I actually love those, um, or if you want to make anything for your kitchen, uh, cotton is a really great fiber to work with. So um, I'm really, I'm really excited that this is totally working. I'm just gonna monitor this a little bit because it is coming up just a wee bit, which is not a big deal. Uh, so we are at just seven rows. Um, for this, I think what I wanna do is make a little face scrubby. Um, so typically with the small machine, I think I do like 30 rows. No, I do 15 rows with the small machine. Um, with this big one, maybe we'll try, let's, go, let's just go about 15 as well pull this down all the way around because what's happening is that the cotton is so thick that it starts to pop up above the loops or the hooks here. Okay, we're at 10. Like I said, we're going to go to 15 and we're just going to make a little um, scrubby. We're actually going to make a scrubby for the kitchen. Um, so I make a lot of reusable products for my kitchen and cleaning. It's a great way to, you know, make something, uh, but also make something useful. Now, one thing I might recommend if you're working with cotton, um, obviously it's working and I'm having just you know, a few problems, but nothing that I can't adjust as I go. Like if you've ever tried to use cotton on the other, like the cheap Centro, what you find is that you can't even use, like you just can't use it. It just, it drops everything. It doesn't work at all. Here there's minor adjustments, but I'm like, I'm so, so excited for the possibilities with this. And there's a couple of things I can monitor and that's fine. Um, I'm also not mass producing any anything. So I make, you know, a few things here and there for myself or friends and family. I teach people how to make things, but I'm not out here making like, you know, 50 face scrubbies to sell at a market. So for me, this is, you know, sustainable to make a few of these with the amount of time it takes. Um, so just keeping that in mind as well. Look how smooth it is. It makes me happy. Oh, and the other thing I was going to say. Um, so historically, I have not used weights because I haven't needed them. Um, but when it comes to this fabric here, I would probably recommend, and I know many of you have actually told me that it's something that you use, weights on your uh, yarn to weigh it down to prevent it from popping up. Um, and I think that's really great. In fact, I have what I was using before and then I realized I didn't need them. Just these little clips from the Dollar Tree. I got a whole pack of them. And then you could just put them all on the inside right here and it'll pull it down um, and add just a little bit of extra weight to prevent that from popping. So definitely if I was gonna make something bigger with this, I would probably add those. Okay, we're almost, we're at 12. So we're so close. And there's the last pen. Okay, folks, look at that. We went all the way around. We did not have major disasters. I am going to now oh dang it I wanted to cut that a little bit longer that is okay not the end of the world um okay 
And I know it came with a darning needle. I actually like to use um, a curved darning needle that I have. So we will just now remove this. I don't need this anymore. And let's cast off. And again, we'll still want to be careful when we're casting off. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I know I'm totally nerding out. Okay, so here's our first, okay, okay, hear me out with this. So this cotton is so amazing and it just the texture, everything about this. I mean, imagine making a fun little bra top out of this. Um, I, you know, I don't really wear bra tops, but I could see in the summer that would be such a cute idea. There's so, oh, market bags with this. Oh my gosh, I like, I'm really, really pleased. Um, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do a very simple scrubby for my dishes. Um, and to do that, again, I did 15 rows. I'm going to pull this center here. Um, now one thing, because cotton gets so thick, it's gonna be a little harder to get a really nice, um, center pull to kind of pull this together, but I'm going to do my best. And the way that I do this, I go through as many loops as I can, pull up the needle. So if you have one of these, um, and you love it or you hate it, let us know. I'd love to hear what anyone else's experience with this, um, particular Addy Express 46 size is. I can already tell I'm going to be um, having a fun weekend when the weekend gets here. Oh yeah, so see, it's starting to get this really nice, solid seal here for the center. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to cinch the other side. So again, super easy project. Um, to make here on the knitting machine. Okay, I'm gonna pull that. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm so happy. Okay, then we're going to double knot these together and then we will seal up this side as well. I'm just gonna try to get that as tight as possible. Be careful, you don't wanna break it. Um, and by tying those two together, what I'm just trying to do is make it a little bit flatter to be more of that scrubby shape. we go okay so now we're gonna seal up that center just like we did before this is another reason why I use a metal darning needle um, because I do tend to push it really hard through the yarn um, and a metal one is gonna last a lot longer and it won't it won't tend to bend or break look at this I'm so happy now a couple things you can also do with your um, scrubbies for the sink you can always make it like a flower shape I've done this in the past where you'll pull it through like this to the center and then do the same thing repeat this way pull it to the center and then you'll end up with um, you know more of these like this there more of these defined petals so you could do that if you wanted to make a flower shape um, for me this I don't need a flower shape this is just going to be to clean the um, to clean the dishes so and then you can throw it in the dishwasher you can throw it in the washing machine either one it doesn't matter but you can certainly wash this it's cotton it will last a really long time this is so great okay I'm gonna finish this bottom up here and then I'm also going to actually add a little loop here so all I'm gonna do is a, a slip knot so I'm gonna take these two wrap around my finger like this and then I'm gonna pull it right through Yeah, that looks about right um, because I have some hooks next to my sink and then I can just hang them on the hooks so that they're always there and that knot's pretty secure. So last thing, trim our yarn. I will keep this because I keep all of my yarn scraps and I can use that for another project. And here we go. I'm so happy with how this worked. Um, so now let's try a thicker yarn. So obviously um, I know that my, I know that acrylic yarn is gonna work. I'm, I'm sure that a four um, weight is going to work on this machine. So let's give her a challenge and now try a thicker weight. 
Uh, so let's find some thicker yarn. All right, so first thing, and I'm sure, I'm positive this is gonna work, especially since it worked with the cotton. But if you saw one of my past videos, I <laughs> struggled with this on the Centro, and I was so sad because it's this beautiful ombre um, yarn, but Red Heart Super Saver, whenever it has this variation or this variegated yarn, um, it just tends not to work. So let's let's try this, and then I grabbed Super Chunky. We'll try some super chunky in a second um, but I do want to just try this out and see how smooth this works okay let's see oh my gosh it's like butter So seriously, if you are on the fence and you're trying to decide if cost is your issue, yes, I, you know, go ahead, go with the, the cheaper version just to get used to maybe the, the concepts. But the problem is you're going to want to upgrade. You're going to want to upgrade and that $50 or whatever you're going to spend on the cheap one, you could put towards this. This is an investment. If you are a maker and you sell things at market and you have a business, it is a tax write-off, um, just as a heads up. But this is, I wish I would have bought this in the beginning. Ooh, this yarn feels so icky. I would never want this on a piece of clothing. Ooh, it's it's icky, icky, icky. Um, okay, so this test is good. And yes, again, I could go back and fix that one if I was going to actually keep this. Okay, so now let's try some super chunky yarn. Now this, this folks is really chunky. Um, I don't even know what weight this is. The, I love using this when I crochet, things work up very quickly. Um, I am going to say it's not gonna work, but you never know. Um, also I am now, it's official, it's official. I'm keeping my machine. And because I am keeping my machine, it is time, it is time. It is time to mark the last stitch. Here we go. It's official. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to see if this works? Oh. it in we'll use the top tension all right true test does it knit Okay, color me impressed. It totally works, everybody. I think that this is like a, I mean, it's a super chunky. It's a super chunky. Look at, look how it's turning out. Oh, oh I wish I would have uh, had this at the height of winter because I would definitely have made some super chunky sweaters. Let's cast off with a waist yarn just so I can see what this looks like.
right, so here is how this chunky worked up. Oh, look at this. It is so beautiful and sturdy. And can you imagine that? This would be so great on a sweater. It has that actual knit look to it, really defined. Um, yeah, I, I wish someone would have told me what I'm telling you. And this is the machine you should be getting. So overall, cotton absolutely works. Yes, super chunky yarn works. Ombre yarn, the Red Heart Death to Centro Super Saver totally works. Um, uh, I would absolutely 100% recommend this knitting machine right here. I'm so happy that I splurged. Um, I did pick it up, like I said, on Amazon. Um, I'll, I have my Amazon links down below if you want a quick way to search for some things. But I think that I paid with tax $177. That was with tax. It was Amazon Prime shipping um, with free returns in case you get it and you don't like it. Um, so anyway, yes, I love this machine. Stay tuned for some new things coming. With spring on the way, I will be uh, diving into uh, spring wardrobe staples. Um, and if you want to see anything else or if you have some ideas that you would like to see me try to create a pattern for, please share those down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Until next time, see ya!